take control of your servant and that may the message be from you not from me. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I bring you greetings of uh, my sister uh, whose entire household have been saved by your prayers and your support. And uh, I was in, on the phone with her yesterday, and she uh, preached the answer, amen. Mm-hmm. And, um, but um, I, I really wanted to convey the greeting. She asked for a bishop, but she called him Papi. <laughs> But um, I greet, bring you also greetings from the people of Cameroon. I never wanted to take for granted the opportunity to serve. Amen. You may reject the message, but do not reject the messenger. Mm-hmm. And uh, my wife just said a few minutes ago, <laughs> the message was inspired by her. <laughs> but indeed, she is an inspiration to me. And uh, this morning, uh, as I was going through my notes, uh, she started talking about uh, these choices that we have. Uh, choices, choices, choices. And initially, the message was going to be on that. It's almost on that, but it's going to be a little different. But um, I have some good news. I'm here to tell you today that Jesus is resurrected and he is alive. Amen. Satan is in trouble because Jesus has conquered the world. Mm-hmm. If you believe it, say amen. 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 Would you please turn with me to the Gospel of John, on the, uh, chapter 20, and uh, we're going to read from verse 19. John chapter 20, verse 19 to, 20 to 29. John 20, 19 and 21. And mine reads as, as follows. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were, fear, were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came in and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hand and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he prayed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you forgive the sin of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from (coughs) any, it is withheld. Mm -hmm. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, also called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, <laughs> unless, this part is very interesting, unless I see his hand, the marks of the nail, and place my finger into the marks of the nail, and place my hand into his side, I would never believe. Verse 26, eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came in and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hand, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed? Have you believed because you have seen me? 
Blessed are those who have not seen That's right. and yet yes. believe. Amen. Uh, it is very interesting uh, that uh, we are on the second Sunday after Easter, and there is a great joy to know that our Savior is not in the grave. Amen. And uh, he has indeed resurrected. This week I was talking with my boss at work, and uh, he was telling me uh, some very interesting facts. He said, um, if that there are so many researches that have been done, so many scientists have been uh, every in every part of the world, and uh, these people doing uh, uh, this science called archaeology, they have never been able to find any bones that could be identified as the bones of Jesus. And historical facts are very clear that Jesus uh, was indeed. So where was so where his, his the question he asked was where is the body? Mm -hmm. So we have proof, living proof that Jesus really resurrected. And uh, the title of the message is going to be a very brief message. I plan on leaving it for you for 12 minutes. Is the resurrected peace? The resurrected peace. Peace can be defined as the, as the absence of war, a state in which there is no war or fighting, an agreement to end a war, a period of time when there is no war or fighting, to maintain order, cause to refrain uh, from creating uh, disturbance. And the definition can go on and on. <coughs> Two weeks ago, more than 100 girls were kidnapped from a middle school in Nigeria. And uh, all to this day, as we speak, they have not been found. Yet on this second Sunday after Easter, Jesus is saying, peace be with you. How would the parent of this girl receive this message from Jesus when after two weeks, the children are still held captive on an unknown location? In a country called Central African Republic, there is a war going on where hundreds are being slaughtered every day with a machete. Now, I have never killed someone with a machete or with anything else. Clarify that. But a machete can cause pretty severe damage. Yes, amen. amen. Now in the United States, we hear more of people being killed with a gun. I believe it's much quicker than a machete. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but in this country, people are being killed with machetes. How can the people of Central African Republic, or the parents or families of these children being captive in Nigeria, receive this message, peace be with you? Mm -hmm. Well, there is a difference between the peace that the world gives yes. and the peace that Jesus offers. Yes. Amen. Right. Now, please pay attention. The world gives peace, but Jesus offers peace. It is clear that there is no peace without forgiveness. I'm not the one saying this. Jesus is. And verse 23 highlights, if you forgive the sin of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, in this appearance, is insisting. He is giving them peace. And with this peace, we, with this peace, we go some responsibility. Forgiveness is essential to peace. 